happened that violence in English-speaking areas of Cameroon over the last year is having a knock-on effect in neighboring Nigeria as thousands of refugees are seeking refuge in the country. Some are fleeing the unrest, while others who are suspected to be secessionists in favor of armed struggle could be using the Nigerian side of the border as a base. Most have fled across the border on foot through the bush since the start of an increased crackdown by authorities in the capital, Yaoundé. Cameroon was divided between French and British before independence in 1960, and English speakers account for 20% of the population of 23 million. In recent weeks, growing numbers have joined the ranks of secessionists, some of whom are openly advocating armed struggle for an independent state. Well, joining us now from our Abuja studios is the Communications Secretary of the South Cameroon Amazonia Republic, Mr. Chris Anno. Thanks for joining us on the program. Now, tell us about the agitation for, for an independent southern Cameroon. Well, uh, thanks for, again for having me. I heard you uh, use the word uh, uh, cessation or secessionist. Uh, it is very important that we understand that the southern Cameroonians are not secessionists. Southern Cameroonians are not separatists. Southern Cameroonians are fighting the uh, 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 decolonization because the Southern Cameroons has never, ever been part of Cameroon. I personally, I do not consider myself a Cameroonian. I consider myself an Ambazonian or a Southern Cameroonian. And so we are not secessionists because if you look at our history, we join the French speaking part of Cameroon as an independent nation, just as they too were an independent nation. And we're interested to know that we were part of Nigeria. In 1953, our representatives walked out of the Eastern House of Assembly in Enugu and created the state of the Southern Cameroons. Between 1953 and 1961, the Southern Cameroons was self-governing. It was an independent state with a legislature, with a prime minister, with an educational system, with a legal system. In 1961, when we were supposed to join the French to become a federal state, it never happened because there was, a, there was never an act of union between English Cameroon or the Southern Cameroons and French Cameroon. And so when we say we are Southern Cameroonians, we are Ambazonians, we actually mean that we have never been part of the Republic of Cameroon. Now going back to the crisis, what is going on is that on October 1st, we Southern Cameroonians will formally declare and restore the state of the Southern Cameroons. La Republique du Cameroon, which is French Cameroon, they've not been happy about this. And they are still living in dreamland, they're thinking that the Southern Cameroons will remain part of French Cameroon. And we have said no. And because we say no, La Republique du Cameroon has declared war on the Southern Cameroons, and which is why you have now thousands of the Southern Cameroons refugee flowing to Nigeria every day. Now, in your advocacy for an independent Southern Cameroon, have you at any time made a case to the African Union and the United Nations? We have actually uh, made that case on very uh, several occasions. It will interest you to know that actually I think it was in 2009 or 2010 that the United Nations, the General uh, Assembly President of the United Nations, presented two maps of the two Cameroons to the President of La Republique du Cameroon, who is Paul Beer. And the essence of those two maps was to let the president of Cameroon know that there are two Cameroons, the English or the Southern Cameroons, and the French Cameroon, which is La Republique du Cameroon. At the African Union level, uh, the, 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 there is also an, a case that the Southern Cameroon has won against the French Cameroon, which also goes to tell, to strengthen the fact that the Southern Cameroons has never been part of French Cameroon.
Nigeria received from some refugees from that area. Can you tell us what exactly is happening there that has led them to become refugees here in Nigeria? Well, what is happening is that after October uh, 1st, last year, 2016, the state of uh, French Cameroon, or La Republique du Cameroon, declared war on the southern Cameroons, the Republic of, uh, Federal Republic of Ambazonia. The French Cameroon declared war on the southern Cameroons. Now, the part in which they declared immediate war has to do with the part that borders uh, uh, eastern Nigeria, the state of uh, Cross River State, Akwaibom State. And uh, so you find out that a majority of the people living in these areas had to vacate their, their towns and villages because the military in La Republique du Cameroon was unleashed to occupy a whole community. We're talking about a community of over 500,000 people. They burned down houses. They killed people. They continue to kill people in their numbers. They burned down whole villages. In fact, if what people do not understand is there is genocide currently, as I speak, going on in this part of Cameroon being unleashed by the government of La Republique du Cameroon, headed by Paul Bia. So this is what is uh, uh, escalating the refugee crisis. The fact that war is ongoing in Cameroon, declared against southern Cameroonians by the president of La Republique du Cameroon. The Communication Secretary of the South Cameroon Ambazonia Republic, Mr. Chris Anu. Many thanks for coming on Network Africa. Now, the Cross River State Government, or citizens of the Central African Republic, are angry about a ruling by a French magistrate who dismissed the case brought against a group of French soldiers accused of sexually uh, abusing children while in deployment in the country. The UN's 10,000 strong mission in Central African Republic has been dealt by accusations of sexual abuse since it deployed in 2014 to curb fights in between mainly Muslim Salika rebels and Christian militias. And that's our program today. Thank you so much for watching. I am Lisi Adebayo.